Hey guys, just wanted to give you a quick channel update. I know there's been a lot of requests for more furry content lately, so expect more of that in the future. <laughs> Capresh, thank you for upgrading your $7 tier to the $15 tier, you mad lad. Alright, let's get into it. What's up everybody, it's right back at it again with another video on Zero Hour. Today we're going to be talking about an update because I've been getting a lot of people asking me to talk about it, so I'm just like, okay, if you want me to. It's honestly the best way to make me do a video about something, just literally yell at me, send me a bunch of links. It'll literally kick my ass into gear. But anyways, the name of the update that we're going to be talking about is called Operation Black Dawn Details. According to this, it consists of new animations, a map, features, and bug fixes. Seems like fairly standard stuff, but let's really get into it here. With this update, they're going to be focusing focusing on the quality of animations, bringing new visuals for players and other significant improvements. The first thing that they talk about here is the third person animations. It says here, they are reworking the third person animations. This is done to portray the soldiers to their appropriate movement. They are trying to recreate the authenticity of SWAT units by their gestures and motion. Before, if you were in the prone position and there was no space left, the character would stand up. I actually didn't know that. And to be honest, I never really go prone in this game. Or at least if I do, it's usually by accident. Now, with the next update instead of standing up the character will rotate his body as you see in the image below i'm very curious to know how the animation is gonna look when he actually like flips around because i feel like it's gonna be like really um really weird like i hope that it's a smooth transition but i guess we'll have to see i have to wonder if this is also gonna show in the first person animations like is it gonna show my legs like flip around and be in front of me i mean i'm sure that they'll do that but i guess we'll have to really see speaking of first person animations for those of you that don't know their previous big update was actually first person person animations. They reward pretty much every gun and every animation through the first person view. If you would like to see a before and after video, I have it up at the top right on the eye icon. I think YouTube might have changed up the way that that actually works because the eye icon doesn't exactly show up. You have to like click the three little dots at the top right to actually look at the other videos. But uh, yeah, anyways, getting off topic here. So yes, this update is mainly for the most part about third person animations and this is where they actually show off what they're talking about. But the first one that we have here is the new prone walk forward animation animation and it looks pretty good curious to see what they do when they actually move backwards go left and right it'd be cool if they could actually like flip when they're going left and right like when you need to like quickly go around a corner you like flip your body it'd be kind of cool moving on to the next one we have the new walk forward animation and it looks pretty standard to be honest again it would be cool to see the you know walking backwards maybe leaning left to right maybe watch to see what it looks like when he actually crouches but i guess we're gonna have to see what it looks like when the update actually comes out what's here is cool i guess the next one that we have here is an idle animation i assume yes uh new idle animation i hope there's more than just this like maybe he like checks his ammo or whatnot and the one thing that i noticed about their animations is that they can be a little finicky so i'm hoping that when those animations do kick into place it's not like right away like it has to be after a certain amount of time and definitely not happen when i'm actually in the middle of the action you know because i don't want my gun like randomly swaying because i'm like aiming at somebody or something but if that does happen then i hope that it's easy to just snap out of it and start shooting right away but anyways moving on to the next one here we got a new dying animation i'm just hoping that there's multiple ways to die like if you get shot from behind you're not gonna just fall backwards like you're gonna fall forward if you get shot from behind right or if you get shot from your side he kind of like falls to the side right there all i'm saying is that if he only dies in this manner then it's gonna be really awkward when you shoot somebody from the back and the side but i'm pretty sure this isn't the only animation they have now i think a question that some people might ask is um do we prefer animations or do we prefer ragdolls i'm not really sure what i prefer like i kind of prefer for dying animations but also ragdoll at the same time damn it's like i'm playing halo all over again and that's pretty much it when it comes to the third person animation that they're actually willing to show off here they do go on to say and yes we are also working on repelling animations which will be shown in a later announcement i think that that's cool but i think one of my buddies had an issue with the repelling that the freaking rope would get in your face like if you can make it so that it could actually go off to the right right there instead of being in front of me that would be so nice but i guess we will have to see moving on to the next thing here we got living ai AIs will be more interactive with the environment and be more authentic, such as leaning over tables, sitting down in chairs, etc. We have planned to add new and improved.
improved voices of the suspects for more variability and authenticity to bring out the characters. They sure like to use the word authenticity a lot. There's a gif underneath here and it's showing a suspect, which I assume is a suspect, with different cosmetics on from what I've seen before. Planning something out on a table it looks like. You know what I kind of hope? Like they're showing off a gif here but this gif wouldn't actually make any sense if um, we're already moving into the building. Like at this point this dude wouldn't be doing this. He would have hand on his gun like waiting for us to come in. Like he might have like kicked over the table for cover because he heard the gunshots or the doors being kicked open and his guys screaming out for help or maybe if they had radios you know they'd get called in by now and he has his gun at the ready like if you're gonna improve the ai and their animations then you should probably improve the things that are already in the game like um like the ai holding a dude hostage or sometimes i'll see like the ai like underneath a bed or something or hiding behind like a cabinet or a dresser or something like i hope they focus more on that type of stuff because unless you're like sneaking around then i don't see the point in doing this type of thing here but then again i guess we'll see how it looks when it comes out or how much of a difference it really makes so yeah maybe have them looking like they're like chilling out in the building or maybe hiding behind cover waiting for the police to come but then as soon as you break down the door or start shooting then they act all crazy like oh what's going on they pick up their weapons and they start pushing out and then you'll see them doing like patrol paps and all this stuff getting ready hiding in positions but i'm not sure that a game like zero hour could actually accomplish something like that but then again i've been surprised in the past so who knows all right that's all i really got to say about that let's push on to the next one here which is a new map as we have mentioned before in the previous announcement and interviews we are adding a new map called ruins it did interviews i don't even know it is a co-op exclusive map and it will be the largest co-op map installment along with the largest amount of ais it was generally supposed to be five times bigger but the scale has been lowered down to remain challenging and be more according to its story there will be several buildings so the map will be open-ended just like cafe 14 this map will be story driven well i played cafe 14 and i didn't really see too much of a story aside from just the dude being nuts and i actually didn't like how open-ended it was i mean i wouldn't have minded it if, if there was more people but there was only like one dude and two civilians in a gigantic map so i'm not entirely sure what they mean by that like i had some issues with it if you want to see the issues that i had with that map i'll definitely post a link to that on the i icon if you're gonna make a story driven map i think the best way to do it is to make it linear and either have a bunch of set pieces that are more in your face or some that are not as subtle because i feel like cafe 14 was like a lot of wasted potential it could have been a great map but it just wasn't great multiplayer map but not great co-op map well, that's just my opinion you let me know yours but i guess it's always good to get a new map i just hope that they actually put a little more effort and more thought into it and uh yeah let's go ahead and push into the next thing here we got new improvements we are always improving gameplay and audio with each update we are trying to make new gameplay smoother and improving the audio quality overall cool 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 with gameplay improvements we are trying to bring quality of life improvements as you can see in our latest patch we are slowly finding the sweet spot for the audio we aim to take feedback and build on it. They continue on to say, we have plans on adding a server browser as an option along with the quick match. Oh cool. It will work in a similar fashion to the join ongoing match option. We will be testing out internally to see if it works without any issues to ensure it's safe to use for public release. Okay cool. We are trying to avoid rooms that are half empty due to server browsers as it will result in players not having the proper 5 versus 5 match. We are trying our utmost abilities to avoid that and bring every player what Zero Hour can offer. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's always nice to see a game improve uh, moving on to the next thing here they just have two pictures of a brand new weapon it looks like the g36c i am not a gun nut so correct me if i'm wrong i do not believe that there is like a real description for this but underneath the picture it says this new weapon will be available for attackers and provide a well-balanced powerful approach for cqc okay so cool brand new weapon for the attackers it continues on to say we plan to add weapon customization and bring in new cosmetics such as watches for attackers and wristbands for terrorists we plan to add many variations of the watches with each having its own perks some watches may simply state the time of day the time of the operation and some will show the countdown for a bomb in co-op ah well there's the countdown could we also make it like a freaking waypoint for like finding the bomb too like maybe there's like a metal detector attached to it and you're trying to like follow it like the freaking beeping machine from aliens except it's detecting the bomb instead of aliens just saying these cosmetics will be purchasable through a new in-game currency which will be earned by playing 
playing the game, no microtransactions. It's the one thing that I kind of don't get. Like, why does it need to be like purchasable stuff? Like, how come I can't just like, you know, play with the same gun over and over again until everything unlocks? It's kind of how it was in Rainbow Six Vegas 2, where if you kept playing with a gun over and over again, then your guy levels up, more stuff unlocks. And you could even pick up weapons that the other team has and the, all the attachments that they had on the floor, you could actually just keep for yourself. Like those particular attachments that were on the gun are unlocked now because you picked it up. Man, games just don't do that anymore, I swear. Well, glad they cleared it up there, but I mean, there's always freaking room for that. We'll talk more about this in a later announcement. You know, it's interesting because earlier, I used to talk a lot more with the developers. I mean, I still do, but just not as much. I used to ask the question of what is going to keep your game interesting? Like what's gonna keep people from coming back? Because I felt like there wasn't enough content to keep people around. Then I gave the idea of why don't you add in like unlockable content? Like keep the guns that you have now. And if you keep using the gun, you'll unlock a bunch of cosmetics and attachments. And I remember talking to them and they were kind of like against the idea. I mean, it was a while ago, so I don't remember exactly what they said, but I just remember them not liking the idea and thinking that what they had was good enough. But it was a while ago, so I don't exactly remember the conversation. But I'm kind of glad that they have a way to keep people around. Despite the fact that it's going to be like a currency type of system, I'm just not a fan of that. Because generally those lead to like microtransactions. Even though they say there's not going to be any microtransactions, it just kind of rubs me the wrong way, but we'll see. We'll see. Overall, this was a pretty decent sized update. I can't say for sure if it's really as big as the previous big one, but it's a pretty big one. It would definitely improve Zero Hour for the better. So what are your thoughts on this update? Even though I might have some issues with it, it's always great to see a game get updated, especially with pretty big content. It says here that they are probably going to release this sometime in May, which is about two months away as of the recording of this video. So looking forward to that. Let's hope that they have a bunch of attachments for us to play around with. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Zero Hour, then be sure to like the video, share the video, comment down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. If you'd like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month, it really helps. With that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.